Welcome back, everybody. My name is Wolf, and with me, I here <laughs> with me here. I have Ziggy, who I can talk. <laughs> Hello, and this is the Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition walkthrough from GuidesForGamers.com, your only place for guides and stuff, fun stuff. Yes, good stuff. We we have iced tea, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So last time we made it to the Undead Berg. And now we're heading to the Taurus Demon, correct? Yes, we're going to finish the second half of Undead Berg to the Taurus Demon. Alright, sounds good. We're going to fight a really hard enemy before Taurus Demon, but... <laughs> oh, that's right, you fought the Black Knight before yeah, yeah. you went up there. Gotcha. These these three guys will probably always want to kick your butt. Yeah, you know, when you sit at a bonfire, you, you res all the enemies that you had already killed. Which eventually becomes a pain in the ass. There's bombers upstairs that will throw bombs at you. Just keep moving. They won't hit you. They don't path down anymore, do they? No. So, they'll just stay up there. <laughs> Three practice <laughs> runs, it was unpatched. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But, um, yeah, just take out all these enemies. I mean, it's pretty simple, I guess, at this point. That's a locked door. You'll open that later in the game. Isn't that a shortcut? To... That's a shortcut. Okay. All these things you will do later. It's gonna be okay. I tried that parrying. was an awful parry. I, what were you doing? I thought he was gonna attack faster, but you know he's really slow. So much for us being like, yeah, Ziggy's really good at this game. He's at like plus 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 plus, <laughs> and then he does stuff like that and can't parry. All right, here uh, we got some black fire bombs. I knew before I even got it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, are there always black fire bombs? Those in there? are always black fire bombs in there. Which you should probably equip for the Black Knight, I would suppose. But I didn't do it. You didn't throw firebombs at the Black Knight? No, I just backstabbed him the whole time. Huh. Okay. I guess that works. This little fight is a pain. I always die here, but I win thanks to backstab and vulnerability. <laughs> uh, yeah, that you get like a um, couple uh, frames there where you're invincible, right? See, he attacked me, but it went right through me. Uh, unscathed! Perfect. I guess that's a good method to if you're getting surrounded and you can get a backstab off. Pull it off. But I guess if... um. You know, you missed the backstab. Kind of, they don't even, they're not even turned around. That's weird. <laughs> Hello, guys. Ta-da. Oh, that sucks. He threw it right at you. Yeah. And that guy can't throw properly. Yeah. He's like, huh, I wonder why that didn't go through. I still get oh hit. Oh, my gosh, dude. I kick him off. For Sparta. I'm sure somebody's made that joke already. I don't give a shit. That looks cool down there. There's fire down there. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so, finally, are you going to go into the house next, or are you going up in the tower? I believe I do house. So, the reason why you bought... What are you doing with the menu? I accidentally unequipped the mace. Uh, okay, so, no, you're going tower. Oh, no, you're going house. I you're right. You so, the reason house. why we bought the residence key from that merchant was to get into this house. And the only reason to get into this house is because you can get pine resin. This is... It buffs your weapon... To uh, electric damage, right? Electric damage. And uh, it's... I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world, but early on when you don't have a weapon that's leveled up or have any elemental damage whatsoever, it is incredibly beneficial and definitely worth the money to buy the residence key and just to walk over here. Too bad you only get three of them. Yeah, but, I mean, when are you really going to use them past, like, Taurus Demon and maybe for the Black Knight fight? Oh, these guys with the spears are really annoying. They hide behind that shield. Hey, turtle. <laughs> turtle. <laughs> so it's called when you just when you're sitting there blocking, it's turtling. It's mean. I thought you parried that back guy for a second. Yeah. Huh? What do you get here? Oh, we Ooh, get a shield. The it's hollow soldier shield. Yeah, I equipped it. It's a very good shield. It had higher stability, about one point. More. By one point and yeah. a little less fire, but. Uh, higher everything. Higher magic. Mm, not mm -hmm. bad. It's kind of a good drop to pick up right there. Yeah. You, I, every time I go through this area, I never pick it up. I was really happy to get it. Hmm. There's a little trap over here. I tried to trigger it. There oh, we there we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That didn't want to go off, did it? And here comes the barrel pusher. To try the to barrel suit. pusher? Yeah. That's his name now? His name is... He's the barrel pusher. S Sir S Barrel Pusher. And I backstabbed him. <laughs> okay. You killed Sir Barrel Pusher. Yeah. And Fair we have enough. a Black Knight down here. Which, I mean, to be honest, you can take him out now, 
you might want to wait. If um, you do want to take him out, I suggest pulling him all the way to an open area. This method? Yes. Also, what you can do, if you see that ladder right in front of you, you can just jump up there and stay up there and throw firebombs down on him, throw arrows down on him, you know, do whatever you want. <laughs> and he doesn't come up there. So, basically, you have free shots on him. But we fought him legit mm. because pairing's fun. Once again, if you don't know how to parry, you wait for that that space between when his uh, attack is going to hit you and it's going to hit your shield and you hit left trigger, right? Yes. And uh, then you attack right away, right after you parried, and you get that. So, pretty easy. <laughs> it looks so awesome. I was... And you flashed right afterwards. I flashed. Oh. I was thought oh, he was going to go for goodness. the second move, and he didn't, and I was... Oh, that was great. So, yeah, this, this knight definitely is difficult at this level, but not impossible, as you are plainly seeing. Um, what did, what does he drop? He drops, uh, he dropped his you'll sword. You'll always, you'll always draw, uh, drop Titanite chunks. But he dropped his sword too, didn't he? Yeah, he dropped his sword for me. Nice. Which is, I was really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. So, I don't think you have the stats to equip it right now, do you? No, I don't. I need 20 strength and 18 dex. That's, that's pretty nice though. Wow. Alright, well I guess, uh, I guess we're good that we're going a strength build. Yeah. Ah, uh, my goodness. Alright, well, let's continue on to the Taurus Demon. Oh, I pick up the ring first. Oh, that's right, there's the ring down He was there. guarding a ring. I forgot to equip it when I got it, but... Oh, really? What was it, was it do? Uh, when you're below 20% health, it greatly increases your defense. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Huh. Well, fun. I'm gonna go back down there and get it, because I'm pretty sure I forgot to do it when I did my practice run. <laughs> um, but yeah. So... On our way to the Taurus Demon, uh, there well, aren't any enemies in here, minus that well, slug, right? We got him down in that door, but... Oh, Hovel? Yeah, we're going to yeah. save him for another video. He's Oh, Hovel's a pain, dude. Not really. I hate Hovel. Well, hopefully you'll have a good strategy for us. I do. <laughs> okay, good. Well, fine. We'll save that for later. There's a little crystal lizard on, in this barrel. He's running from us. Yeah. Go down. They will always drop some upgrade stones for you. And through here is the Taurus Demon, so be ready, flask up, do whatever you need to do before you get ready to fight a boss, and then, uh, I guess, head through the door. Yep. Alright. Transverse the white light. Go, I say. <laughs> Walk through the door. Oh, man, look at all the bloodstains. People have already died at this guy. Oh, my goodness. They should have waited and watched our video. You know, some people, they run and try to fight the... And they forget about these guys up here. It's so funny watching them get shot from behind the <laughs> first time they do this boss. And I feel so bad because you should kind of know they're up here. I fail, but... You fail fighting these guys, but then you don't fail on Taurus? No. Okay. Because I drink some OJ afterwards. Oh, OJ's delicious. Yes. Um, he was also in a murder trial. <laughs> we, won't we won't talk about that. Well, I went ahead. I suggest equipping the uh, the gold pine resin that you picked up and the black fire bombs that you picked up if you're having trouble. Did you even use black fire bombs? No, him? I didn't. He okay. went down like a truck. He went down pretty easily. Yeah. All right, sounds good. So you're gonna make it about halfway down this um, pathway, pathway bridge, whatever it is. Ramparts, actually. Ramparts. Hellfire ramparts. I love that place. <laughs> okay. Once he spawns, you're gonna turn around and you're gonna run up that ladder that you, you know, went up like a second ago to kill all those archers up there, crossbowmen, whatever they're called. He tries to hit you, but he won't. Go ahead and buff up your weapon, and then, and uh, then plunge attack. Plunge attack. What I did is I went between his legs like a champ and just wailed away on him. Uh, um. Okay, I want you to listen back to this recording again and listen to what you just said. <laughs> because it was horrible. <laughs> but staying between his legs, super easy to kill this boss. Um, I guess what you can do is when he swings back, if he's going to swing right down on top of you, if you just roll forward. I mean, it gives you a little added insurance that you're going to dodge that hit. But he's really easy, guys. Um, just use that plunging attack, stay between his legs, that sounded dirty, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> you said but I. You, you thought I said something bad. You said something very bad. You should listen to this again. But, um, yeah, boss is pretty easy. 
head down here. You're going to take a right. Look at the sun. The beautiful, sun's, beautiful scenery. <laughs> the sun's beautiful. And you're going to talk to this guy who, um, he has a lot to say. He talks a lot, he but does. I like him anyway. Do you really? Do you ever use him? Yeah, I use him. Okay. He helps out a lot. Well, later, if um, if you're in human form, when you go to certain boss fights, you can summon this guy to assist you in killing bosses, which I don't think we do, ever, because we're showing you how to beat it if you don't have him. So, yeah, that's our gift to you. But you're going to talk to him, and then you're going to talk to him again, and he's going to be like, I didn't scare you, and I'm like, yes, you did. You look kind of freaky. And you say yes. I always, <laughs> always say yes. But I said no next time. <laughs> oh, did you really? Yeah. <laughs> you need to read before you start clicking stuff. Well, I'm impatient, so I tend to constantly press A. <laughs> oh, yeah, you hit no. I hit no, and I was like, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> if you do, just talk to him again. He'll give you the same option again. Hit yes. The reason to do this is he gives you the white soapstone. Yes, it allows you to... Put your little summoning signature on the floor, and uh, other players in the game can summon you to help you with to help you with boss battles or PvP or just going through the level in general. It's really helpful. Yeah. So, but uh, we won't be doing any of that unfortunately because we're showing you how to beat the game by yourself in the worst possible circumstances, which means no assistance from this guy on certain boss fights. Sorry, Solar. He has more to say, apparently. He has a lot to say. He has more to say than we do right now. That's why we're filling it with random commentary. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> a warrior of the sun. Oh my god. If you miss it, you must be blind. Ha 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 ha. Whatever. Go away, please. Alright, we're done, finally. Thank goodness. Let's go see a dragon. <laughs> Let's go see a dragon. Alright, so, finally, you need to make it down this pathway, but first you need to trigger... The dragon to do his little flyby. And there we go. Look at all those numbers. numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't you like big numbers? <laughs> those are big numbers. Okay. So I guess uh, we're just going to run down uh, run, run down the bridge. Run down the bridge. I thought it was funny. I watched somebody do this once and he's like, you have to un unequip all your gear so you move faster. And I'm like, is that oil on the bridge? Maybe. I've never noticed that. Huh. Interesting. Maybe we'll have to go back and look. But you run down this little pathway, and you kick down this ladder, and you were at the bonfire that we started the video at, and like, you jumped off. I don't like climbing down ladders. Good job. So that's it for this video. Next video, we will be heading toward uh, the chapel, or whatever it's called. But until then, thank you very much for watching this guide. Please visit us on our website, guidesforgamers.com. That's guides with a Z and gamers with a Z because we like leet speak for some reason. <laughs> um, but yes, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, I guess until next time, keep on gaming. Goodbye.